Hello everyone, we are in Endurance Lazy Lab. In this video, we are going to show you how you may measure heat distribution that was generated by your CO2 tube. We have 80 watt CO2 tube and we want to understand how much heat does this tube generate. So we have three uh, thermometers over here and we measure incoming temperature over here. So we have a water chiller installed over here and we have three thermometers that measure temperature after it went through a CO2 tube. They're over here, so the temperature is pretty much the same. It has, uh, the water goes through the tube. Okay, the very important part of this experiment is to measure the capacity of our water pump. So Pashi is starting to uh, check the, uh, he opened the pump and now we can measure the speed of our water pump. So we have water is uh, going into the bottle and we measure the, we have a timer over here. So roughly we can say that after 43, 45 seconds, yeah, 45 roughly, we've got one liter over here. Okay, let's start the experiment itself, full power, the CO2 tube, uh, full power. We have a black uh, metal piece over there, so the laser beam hits it, and then it reflects to another black anodized uh, plate. Be careful, it's 80 watt, it's uh, invisible radiation. It's very, very dangerous, do not uh, work without goggles and also follow all necessary uh, security and safety procedures. We can see that the temperature, uh, incoming temperature is the same here and let's see what we have on the opposite side of CO2 tube. Well, the temperature here is 20, uh, roughly 21 Celsius. So we have delta uh, about two Celsius. Yeah, we have two, two Celsius is our delta. Okay, let's do some math and let's see what is actually heat, uh, heat distribution that is made by our CO2 tube. So we have a uh, pump uh, speed, uh, milliliters per second. We have two temperatures, we have two uh, Celsius delta and we ha have heat capacity of water so we just need to multiply all, we multiply the speed, we multiply a delta and heat capacity and we have that the CO2 tube generated about 200 watt uh, heat uh, distribution. So uh, roughly for this uh, CO2 tube, for this particular experiment, we would have the uh, efficiency of uh, 80 watt. We divide on uh, 200 watt. Let's see, once again, 80. And we divide on. So roughly the CO2 tube efficiency for particular this experiment would be 30, uh, 38%. So now you know how to measure and make such experiments uh, with your CO2 tube. Thank you for watching. Thanks for um, subscribing and for supporting our channel. Visit our website endurancelasers.com if you have questions and visit our online store endurance-lasers.com. Ideas, comments, thoughts are very welcome under this video. Thanks, bye-bye. <music>